Hey guys and welcome to the 6th episode of the Ploxa Games Unity 3D How to Make a Zombie FPS Game. Now I, first of all, I would like to apologise for the delay in help through emails, comments and also the production of videos. I have been very busy with work and school just starting up again and so yeah, I'm sorry about that, but hopefully I'll be able to get some more stuff up soon. So, for this episode we're going to start the inventory up. So, with this what we're going to do is eventually make it into a fully, um, uh, fully, um, I don't know, uh, I'm not sure, sorry. <laughs> fully integrated crafting system, and everything else. So, um, first of all, just for this episode, we're just going to set up the um, inventory class classes. So, what, we, what you're going to have to do is go create a new folder and call that inventory. Go into that and create new C -sharp script. Name this one item with capital I and then just double open that one, double click to open that one up. So in this script, what we need to do is create a class called item. So we'll just get rid of this. So just a public class, mono behavior, and go up to this top one. And first of all, you need to write using system dot collections dot generic. And this allows you to use um, lists, I think, or classes. Um, so you need to define that first. Second, we need to write in square brackets system dot serializable. And what this does is allows it to be called through scripting. So instead of having to go through the editor, the um, inspector window, and create your items through there, you'll be able to create it through scripting so that will be, um, ensure that if that if your um, if something doesn't go right and you lose all your items through your inspector window then um, essentially if you create them through the item script it'll always be there you won't ever lose it unless if you delete the script so then we're gonna go and call a class so you go public class and this is going to be called item, or is it item class? No class item. And we're just going to close that up. And first of all, in this, we are going to basically what you do in here just to find all your items, and you're able to do, um, call this up later. So just go public, and let's say what do we need? We need a name. So it's, um, name public string sorry. um... one second um, okay yep yep that's just as normal so it's just string and item name lowercase item um, uppercase name and then what else do we want um, a description so string item desk um, we'll need an icon so public texture 2d because it'll be a 2d texture and item um, texture or icon um, we'll go up. You, you can place these anywhere, but I'll just put this one after name. Public int, and this will be item ID. So we'll be able to classify, uh, uh, choose the um, items based on their ID or whatever else. So that's for sorting purposes. Um, icon. Um, what else do I have? I should have left that open. Um, item ID 
description icon item type max ammo max clip so public um, item type is as the um, variable type item type we'll create this later show you how to create that later and item lowercase item capital capital type and then public um, integer max yeah max ammo public integer max clip and actually what else we'll add on to what I've already done we'll add a public int and this will be uh, damage no oh, yeah damage and public int protection and what this will do is we'll create an item we'll change it to item capital damage in item capital protection and what this does is we'll be able to define a damage for a weapon um, and we'll also be able to define a protection amount for like armor and things like that if you want to add that in so for that we'll just leave that in now and now we're going to create this item type variable so create a public it's type enum e n u m and call it exactly what we call it above item capital item capital type and just do it as if it was a um, function or anything else oh we don't need this sorry I'm going off of this to like these ones as well um, th I spent a while doing this as well so that's why I also took a while to um, put up the get this video going one more thing up here sorry is um, public integer and health item health item health so what this will do is for consumables just things that come into my head at the moment sorry so an enum is like a uh, drop down box so it's like we'll sort things into categories so what we'll do is consumable and comma enter consumable sorry um weapon comma knee line armor comma knee line and bullet and then nothing at the end no no full stop no comma no nothing and that is that finished that's that um, class finished so you can save that and go back to unity and see if you've got any errors and the only reason I've got this one is because I've got this test item so that's it yeah it restricts me so what I'll do is I'll eventually delete that once we copy this whole script over so then what we do is what we need to do is what I've done is create a um, I'm not sure what to really call it is I suppose another class inside this class so we'll go actually go back into the class and um, what you what this is for is when you when you define an item, when you create a new item in the um, script using the system serial serializable um, thing, sorry, <laughs> um, you call an item. You go like you call it to item dot add. Your item dot add, so item dot add. So you're adding a new item, and you're doing it of type an item so it'll choose either this one or this one that's why they're the same this empty one is for like empty um, empty slots so you've got sending it nothing get, getting back nothing so that's fine there and what you're doing with this is you're sending it a name an ID a description a type and a ammo and a clip for just for these ones for this one and then you're making these variables equal to what you got what you got given when you called it and I'll show you this later and with this icon the only reason we didn't load a texture 2d is because it you can't um, define 
you could define a texture to you, but it's probably harder. But what we're going to do is set up a folder called Archons in the Resources folder. Um, this is a folder that is automatically loaded when you play a game, so it, you're able to access it during the game through scripts. And you'll load it to Extra 2D, and we'll just have it as the name. So you need to set the Texture 2Ds as the name of the item. That's a bit much for now, but we'll just go on. Sorry. <laughs> so public item. And now we're going to um, create the variables that we're going to sub back, um, ask for. So we're going to go call a string of type name, um, a int of type, an, an integer of the called id, um, string called desk, um, a, uh, well, skipping texture because we're doing it through the using the name and item type we'll go type no, sorry variable first variable item type of type type called of oh, no, variable name type um, int and m ammo m ammo well, remove this one int m ammo um, int m clip um, int um, damage int protection int health so that's that for now and just close that off and then in here what we're going to do is call all of these variables here and set them to each one that we subbed in. Um, actually, what I was going to do for this episode is zoom in a bit on the script so it's easier for you guys to see. Um, I apologize about it being a, too small at the start. I didn't really think. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll just zoom in a more. Okay, so um, if you need to, just pause the video here and just go through the script and recode it if you couldn't see it before. Sorry about that. So, item name. Name, and we'll make this one equal to name. Item ID. Equal to ID. Item description desk. Equal to desk. Item icon equal to now this is the bit where we access that preloaded um, folder and that's called resources dot load and we're going to give it a path name so this is the path but what we want to do first is is before or after it's before so in here we'll typecast it as a texture 2d texture 2d and the path will be, we'll, name, we'll create a folder called icons. Um, sorry, we need to put this in text brackets, in text marks. So call it, create a file called icons, and then we'll go leave that one there, and then plus name, item name. I don't think that's how I had it, yep. And then icon. Is item type so item type equal to type um, m max ammo equal to m ammo max clip equal to m clip um, item new line sorry item damage equal to damage and then item protection equal equal to protect protection and then last last item health equal to health 
Alrighty, so that's that one for now, and quickly we'll just create a last public item, open bracket, close bracket, open curly braces, close curly braces, and that's that one set up for now. So this one we will not need to touch pretty much at all. Um, feel free to change things, just um, just change it to the fit your game. We'll probably edit this one again. Um, so once again, I apologize for the um, time that it's been. I apologize for taking time to respond. If you are confused about this one at all, because it is a quite quick episode and a bit hard to, t to um, take in, just trying to keep time down, um, just email, comment, anything else. Um, just talk to me. Um, you've been great support so far, so thank you very much. Um, as always, see you in the next video. Comment, rate, subscribe. Bye.